Hey, we're all getting excited over here for the big gig. Summerfest just announced 76 of the ground stage headliners. And there will be artists for everyone to enjoy. We are joined by Piet Levy from the Journal Sentinel. And who are some of the artists we're talking about here? Yeah, it's, well, it's a really diverse uh, lineup, so just take your pick on who, who you want to see. Uh, I've seen on Twitter a lot of people are talking about Jake Miller. He's kind of like a heartthrob uh, hip-hop artist. He's in his early 20s. Uh, you've got people who are excited about New Order that's coming here for Summerfest. Uh, Nas is getting a lot of interest. Uh, oh. Rapper Ludacris. Uh, Pentatonx is an acapella group uh, that did a sold-out show at Riverside earlier this year that has a lot of buzz. Um, there's a lot, there's just, it's a really diverse lineup from Poly D to Bonnie Raitt. Uh, let's, it's wow, you got me. Yeah, let's talk about yeah. reaction to this lineup. You know, there were people that kind of shook their head last year. They weren't too pleased with what Summerfest put together. I'm hearing just overwhelming raves about the names announced today. Yeah, I, looking at Twitter, there's a there's I think the majority of people on Twitter, as I've been checking all day, have been pretty enthusiastic about the lineup because basically the Summerfest has always tried to do something for everybody, and there are certain acts I think appeal to certain uh, music lovers. There are still people who complain about it and say, eh, it's kind of weak, especially compared to Lollapalooza, which announced its lineup today. That's in Chicago. Right. But uh, I think it's a really good lineup with with something kind of for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. One of the coups here, Arctic Monkeys, because they're also going to do Lollapalooza, and the way the rules have been in the past, you can't do one and do the other at the same summer? Typically not, but what's interesting is that you've got Outkast who uh, is playing Lollapalooza, but they're also playing Summerfest. Usually there's a radius clause where if you play Lollapalooza as a headliner, you're not allowed to play within 300 miles like a couple months ahead of time. Right. But Outkast somehow got out of that, which is great for Milwaukee. We're going get, to uh, get Outkast first, which should be a really sweet show. All right, Piet Levy in the newsroom downtown. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. For more on this, Thanks, guys. we'll mm -hmm. have a link on our website, tmj4.com. You can also find his review on jsonline.com. Mm -hmm. Summerfest Entertainment Director Bob Babish, he'll be on Wisconsin tonight to talk more about the headliners. I think we're also going to give away some Summerfest tickets, so Ooh. be sure to tune in tonight at 6.30. And something else you can enjoy, you can now listen to performers who will be at Summerfest. We have a free streaming music app called Radio League. You can download that app at radioleague.com.